Led by Dr. Phillips, the opposition today urged the government to delay the passing of the legislation. Dr. Phillips argues that changing the fiscal rules has significant and far-reaching consequences, requiring serious consideration. We certainly need more than five minutes. We certainly need more than the time that you are bringing it here. He hasn't even seen it, and how many members have seen it? None. It's not the way to run a country, Mr. Speaker. It's, uh, it, is simply, it is simply another expression of a determination to use the power because they have it and to ignore the rights of all the people in the country. And they think that they can run roughshod over anyone, every interest, any person who has an interest in how Jamaica is being operated. The amendment to the FAA Act will see Jamaica's 60% debt to GDP target move from fiscal year 2526 to 2728. This has been a fundamental pillar of Jamaica's economic reform program. However, Dr. Clark and the opposition both previously agreed that this target might need to be adjusted in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. Dr. Phillips says he does not wish to be contentious but takes issue with the way the government is attempting to push it through. But a strident Dr. Clark chastised him for attempting to hold up the legislation at a critical time. He made it clear there's no room for further delay. And if this is the issue that opposition wants to stand upon, let them go ahead, because the people of Jamaica will see that matters most. When the chips are down, the people you can depend on to rise to meet your need is the government of Jamaica. If it was up to them, Mr. Speaker, all they're interested in is delay. Delay. They want us to delay. Delay. For what, Mr. Speaker? The need is now. The people need assistance now. There's no room for delay. No room for delay. However, the opposition leader took serious issue with Minister Clark's statements. The minister is misrepresenting, misrepresenting the facts. 